Hello everybody, how are you going? Welcome back to another very exciting video. Um, so welcome to Sprinkle Money, my name is Andrew and uh, I'm going to share with you today um, one of my purchases today. It's a bit sunny outside today but I thought I'd come and make this video out the front again because uh, it's beautiful today and nice and quiet appears to be. A little bit of wind around anyway. So before I start, as per usual everyone, I'm purely just sharing um, what I'm doing with um, with my um, investing and this video is not meant to be any advice or I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor just take everything that I say with a grain of salt I've got my own research here There's, <laughs> um, um, I just uh, really want to um, share my thoughts about it and this is the channel for me to do that so today oh a bit windy Apologies if you're gonna get some wind noise today, um, but yeah, so let's let's get into it. So today I purchased a thousand bucks worth of a company called Bis Alloy or Bis Alloy Steel. I don't know how to say it properly, kind of, you know, it's business and alloy, I guess, together. I don't, I don't know, Bis Alloy. Um, they are listed as ASX um, BIS, that is their um, ticker code. And who is Bis Alloy? Well, how, how come I ended up buying it? Well, here we go. Um, if you've watched my recent videos, I have a little criteria that I like to follow. And one of those, uh, like Bis Alloy is one of those companies that ticks a lot of these uh, boxes for the decision making for me to buy it. But it's it, it's one of the things, it's, it's outside of, uh, like it doesn't tick one of the main boxes for me and I'll explain that in a minute. So, um, but let's get into it anyway. So this particular ASX stock, is uh, paying a regular dividend. They are a long-term dividend payer. They've been paying regular dividends since 2015, I'm going to say, roughly. They um, are 100% franked, and they do a DRP, which means you can automatically reinvest the dividends. So, they, uh, so it ticks all the foundation boxes. One of the boxes that it does not tick, and this is, um, a big one is that this is a micro cap, small cap, micro cap type of business. So the um, overall market cap of this company is $80 million. That puts them right down into the very, very small companies on the ASX. However, they've been around for a long time and, um, and I'll talk to you about that a bit, bit in a moment. So I kind of, I was looking for a, a little bit of a speculative sort of stock um, just to have something like that in my portfolio as well. But I'm look, I was looking for a company that still has good foundations and uh, my research points to uh, lots of positivity. So um, I'll share that with you now. So what does Biz Alloy do? Basically, they, you know, in, in, in a simple way, I guess you can say that they supply a superior steel product to the market uh, here in Australia. And in particular, the product that they make, they have a bit of a monopoly on which is really high quality steel plate. And if you think about all the products that use steel plate, uh, it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's an endless list. There are so many applications for this particular product. And the fact that they're manufactured here in Australia, um, sometimes from imported materials, I would, I dare say, often from imported materials, but not always. Um, but the, uh, the product is produced here in Australia. Um, so if you buy into this stock as I, um, bought into this stock the reason uh, one of the reasons might be that you want to support Australian manufacturing and so that's a um, a bit of a plus there so biz alloy themselves mention three main areas that they use um, still plenty I'm sure there's others as well but the three that really stuck out for me they are obviously in the resources in the mining sector uh, a lot of uh, machinery and uh, especially custom-made machinery will use this product uh, they have applications in the military, so they brought up their their proud history of no one dying in a military vehicle that is made by Biz Alloy. And uh, if you are really interested, just do a YouTube video because there's a couple of um, funny videos out there of people trying to um, um, destroy this stuff uh, with you know hammers and bullets and stuff, and it's just a, a really tough steel. So. Um, military applications obviously uh, in their promotional video they also bring up the submarines that they have um, provided still for so submarine manufacturing even though at, at the moment i mean it was a bit of a news not long ago about australia 
purchasing their submarines from overseas, but um, local manufacturing for that sort of military application is another another um, avenue for sales. And the last one, of course, is construction. Steels and alloys are used extensively in construction and Australia at the moment is looking at a uh, bit of a construction boom because of the housing shortage. So I feel that biz alloy is placed well to support the industry and uh, support that growth. So a little bit of background, they've been in Australia for 40 years. It's a long, long time to be um, operating. So that's a, a really positive, I feel. Um, they have provided for the first time in 2022, since 2007, they've provided an interim dividend on top of their standard annual dividend. So that's really boosted their, um, their dividend um, output. So the company's obviously doing quite well financially uh, in terms of, you know, relatively speaking for an $80 million company. The uh, sales, if you look into their financials, the sales data is actually looking really, really good since 2018. They have uh, consistently um, sort of hovered around um, a really good, like sort of positive sales data since 2018. Um, especially into now, it's sort of like a slight build, I guess, in the in the uh, in those values, and they've been also cash flow positive over the last two years. So they sort of floated between up and down. They floated a little bit up and down for cash flow. Uh, some years they're a little bit under, um, but the last two years they've been over. So that's also po pointing to um, some good signs for um, income. They don't seem to be doing things like um, uh, offering, um, you know, like fundraising. They don't seem to. To do that the amount of shares outstanding is quite uh, consistent nothing that stands out for me as stuff to worry about so no fundraising that I, that I can see and another positive thing that kind of stuck out for me is that biz alloy seems to have some exposure to the chinese market so that in itself is going to be um uh, something like real positive for the company going ahead I'd say because uh, China is obviously a huge market for this sort of stuff for construction and uh, growth so um, biz alloy is well placed to start to enter these international markets okay so I mentioned earlier that they sort of have a monopoly here in Australia being the only Australian manufacturer that also I guess is uh, indicative of the um, small market cap because they will have obvious overseas um, competition. So as a bit of a threat to to the company is obviously um, Chinese made steel and that sort of stuff coming in, which is of lower quality or, you know, maybe equal quality at a lower price. But, you know, this company is still producing profits year after year uh, in the green. So it's 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 to me I, f I feel like they're one of these companies that is resilient to the overseas stuff uh, i read a little bit about the australian government paying their part to ensure that the quality coming into australia is um is high i guess in a way biz alloy is reliant on the government doing the right thing and um, not allowing inferior products to come in at a lower price and that, that can maintain their market share um, at you know at uh, suitable prices i guess Okay, so that's about it, everyone. Um, so yeah, I've bought a thousand bucks. I'm in the uh, accumulate accumulating stage of my portfolio. So this is just another stock that I have purchased. I'm building up about, I guess, about 30 companies I'm aiming to sort of purchase into over a long term. And um, Bizaloy is gonna be in that mix and uh, we'll see how we go before I change to my sprinkle money strategy that I will share with you soon. So thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed the content or got something out of it, please subscribe. It would really help my channel grow. And uh, yeah, um, comments below if you've got any questions and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.